First, we started to brainstorm, coming up with various ideas. So, Alex, we've got a bunch of ideas for this Pioneers competition, and you're wondering if we could ask you about them. So, our ideas so far are, you know, this kind of pie tag thing, this capture the flag idea, you know, outdoor sunglasses, maybe another TFL app. You know, what, what do you think is the best out of those? I mean, the tag idea sounds kind of cool. Really fun. Actually, brilliant. <laughs> And after an almost unanimous vote from our friends, we decided to work on PyTag. So, the idea of PyTag was to enhance the average gaming experience outside, enhance games like 4040 and IT, with servers, RFID, and most importantly, flashing lights. PyTag has great scalability, as well as potential for future adaptations, meaning it could be used to play other games such as Capture the Flag, Treasure Hunt, and even more using the same technology. For the game, we had to have a server that collated the data from the individual packs on people to figure out who had won or lost or various game states within the game play. Uh, for that, we used a Raspberry Pi, which had its own access point to which the Node MCUs connected, and we, on that we ran a Node.js server, which had a WebSocket connection with each and every Node MCU. For the actual detection of players in, uh, touching each other, we decided to use RFID tags. Uh, the tags would be on the gloves and on the bib would be a reader. And once the tag was pressed against the reader, it would register a point. Unfortunately, we were faced with many inexplicable hardware problems throughout this project. Strange pin mapping, poor connections, and a severe lack of documentation combined with poor sewing skills left us with a less than favorable position. But luckily, with a lot of hard work, often late at night, we managed to solve most of these problems and we managed to create a working solution, even though it might not have been what we were originally aiming for. The individual units are made up of a Node MCU board, a NeoPixel indicator, a battery box, and the RFID scanner itself. The Node MCU contains a Wi Fi chip which allowed the board to communicate with the Pi. The RFID reader registers tags from other players. However, during development, we found that the reset pin prevented the node MCU from booting, so we had to disconnect it. These units were then put into pouches, which were sewn into the bibs. To trigger the system, we taped RFID cards onto gloves, which the players would wear. Now that we had sewed everything into the bibs, finished all our soldering, it was time to test the product. We gathered some of our friends into a nearby park and started to test it. So, we, we have our first entrance. Oh. Yes. yes, the white light me means that they're not yet connected to the server, which Joe is currently trying to run on his Frantically computer. trying to do. Frantically. Yeah. Joe, that's a beautiful password. And when the LEDs turn a colour other than white, it means it's ready. So they're calibrated. Well, it was yes. not really calibrated. Not really. Oh, oh calibrated. it works! It works. Yes. Oh. It works. yes, this is so. You team two blue are connected. Team red. What do? I... Right. Yes. No, no don't tag him yet. Why would you? As it's got already a You've point. You've already got a point. Yes. Okay. Let's, let's okay. the... No, oh. no, stop. Come back here. It proved a little chaotic, so we had to enforce a few more rules. Finally, we got some action, and the system worked perfectly. Hey! So, Atto, how did you find the game? It was dreadful. Absolutely shocking. So, Atto, how did you find the game? It was terrible. It was really fun. So that's PyTag. 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 Ha, ha, ha.